Hey Cal. Um, I'm finally recording my video. I know it's been a little bit longer than I said it would take. Uh, sorry about that. So I have nothing going on this weekend, which is kind of nice. And I really like not having to go anywhere sometimes, except the problem is if I don't have to go anywhere, I sort of don't go anywhere, and I sort of don't leave the house very often if I'm here on a Saturday. So in the spirit of actually leaving the house today, I decided to go and check out the music store that's just about a mile down the street from our place, so I walked there. On the way, I stopped and exchanged a winning lottery ticket that I got for Christmas for what is probably a losing lottery ticket. And I stopped at Rocky Rococo for lunch because it's right next to the music store. And by the way, the Rocky Rococo here in Madison, at least the one by my apartment, is freaking awesome! It's got a movie theater and an arcade. It's like Chuck E. Cheese, except with even better pizza. So then I went to the music store and I looked around at all the guitars and thought about which ones I would buy if I won the lottery. By the way, answer, all of them. But the actual reason I was there was to get some guitar strings, because both of my acoustics sort of need to be restrung, especially this one. And you've never seen me play this one, um, it's a classical guitar. And the reason I don't really play this guitar is because I got it sort of randomly, and the strings are super, super old and don't really stay in tune. I mean, they're, they're okay right now, but they're not great, they don't stay very well. And also, I'm just, it's, it's bigger and I'm not used to that, but I want to actually play it, so I decided to get some strings for it, some nice new ones, so I'm going to talk to you while I restring this. And I'm not going to talk about restringing per se while I do this, although I am going to say that this thing, this is the greatest thing ever if you need to restring a guitar. Because what I used to have to do was just rotate it by hand until the string is completely unwound and you can get it off. Then you get one of these, and it takes about like six days less than it used to. And the very first time I restrung a guitar, I didn't have one of these, and it was terrible. I'm not doing that again. So you talked about NaNoWriMo a lot in your last video, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Uh, you may have noticed that I'm wearing my NaNoWriMo Winners t-shirt. If you hadn't heard, I was a winner this year. I mean, if you, if you didn't get 50,000 words, then I, I mean, you weren't a winner. So, but good job, you know. Anyway, but you weren't a winner unless, you know, you, you got 50,000. Kind of sending barbs aside, um, this was my sixth attempt, so it's not actually all that impressive. And just in case you were curious, uh, my track record goes like this. 200 words, 1,000 words, 2,000 words, 10,000 words, 20,000 words, and finally, 50,000 words. And admittedly, those first three years, I really didn't take it seriously. It wasn't until I started doing it with other people that I started actually, you know, believing that there was a point to doing this. The fact remains that in my sixth year, I wrote more in the month of November than the last five years combined. In fact, that's probably true even if you don't mean just November. And I don't know what it was that made it possible this year. I don't know if I just managed to hit the perfect storm of an idea that was old enough that I knew what I was doing, but not old enough that I was too invested in it, or if I just have enough failures under my belt that this was the year I was finally going to go through with it. Somehow this year I managed to hit that midpoint where you start to lull and you fall behind your word count and you realize you're doomed. I hit that point, and then somehow I rebounded. I ended up writing something like 12,000 words in the last three days, which is pretty incredible, especially for me. And yeah, I made it. I made it actually with a day to spare, in fact. And I made one mistake. See, I thought that I was going to hit 50,000 with so much momentum going behind me, that it was going to send me powering into December, and probably further, and at least to the end of the novel, if nothing else. Except since November... Nah. Since November, I've written, like, 200 words of my novel. So while 50,000 words in a month is sort of impressive, 50,200 words in three months is considerably less impressive. So here it is, naked, no strings. And here's the strings. They're sort of useless now. Now the new strings go on, and these strings are steel and silk, which is actually really cool. I have no idea what they'll sound like, but I'm kind of excited. Some people hate that noise. And voila, new strings. Ooh. So I'll get that tuned up later. So um, yeah, that's, that's kind of all I got for you. Figured at this point I just needed to get a video up and not really worry too much about the content, so it's pretty much what I did. Hopefully now we can get onto some semblance of a schedule, just to keep things moving, keep, you know, doing stuff as opposed to not doing stuff, which we're really practiced at, and I don't, I don't think we need to work on that anymore. Yeah, that's it. See you soon.